back to another vlog with Faith Lamaria. I'm super excited to be with you guys today. If you don't know, my name is Faith. And I am a content creator. I like to travel. I like lifestyle. I like beauty. I like fashion. I like anything that makes me happy, honestly. Like, that is what life is about. If you're not happy, then what are you doing? Like, I doing what makes me happy and I would like to show you guys and all of my subscribers and just people who are wanting to experience life maybe through my eyes or maybe through my experiences but also just hearing about my experiences so that when you go and experience this for yourself that you kind of already know what it takes to get there or what kind of mentality to have when you're there or just being prepared for certain things. Like that's how I've experienced most of the things I've experienced. I don't go on a trip. I don't go anywhere without watching a video about it first. Like I wanna know as much as I can before I go so that I don't go and not know what to do or you know, how to move while I'm there. Like, and that's just in everything. Getting into today, we're talking about laser hair removal. I started the process back in 2018. Um, I had literally tried everything. I tried Nair, wax, shaving, of course. Um, those were the three that I tried. And I was like, well, you know, I've tried everything. Let me get into laser hair removal. And honestly, um, let me just give some history behind my hair removal process is that I used to cheer when I was younger. And for African-American women, we deal with a lot of hyperpigmentation, a lot of ingrowns. It can be like crazy sometimes. And not to say other people or other races don't experience it, but like it's definitely science proven. Like we literally have issues um, a lot in, in our community. Um, and with that, it can kind of make you a little insecure about like, oh, maybe I shouldn't lift my arm. Like maybe you don't want to wear tank tops because you're like, oh, my hybrid pigmentation or oh, I have an ingrown that left a mark. I don't want people to be looking at it. Like, you know, like that's definitely something that you can be insecure about but at the end of the day like it's skin and it's okay like and that's one thing i want to know like i want to make sure i let you guys know like those things are okay like it's your it's life but do you have to be okay? like do you have to settle for that can you not find a way to help get rid of that if you can like why not so in my process growing up I always had to like keep my underarms and legs and things kept because I'm always wearing shorts or tank tops, hot, sweating, cheering. Like it just didn't work for my skin. So after a while, I, I would get really irritated. It would just become something I'm like, mom, like we need to figure something out. And she's like, well, you know, you should try laser hair removal, you know? And I was like, yeah, I do want to try it. We'll see. You know, it's not the most... Um, inexpensive thing to do and it's not something that everyone can have access to but I definitely feel like if you want to do it and if you have like you know you're experiencing these issues why don't you save prepare so you save for like trips you save for like doing other things that you want to do or buying other things you want to buy why not save for something that's gonna help you feel more confident you know like why not so with that being said, you know, I graduated from my undergraduate program and I was like, I'm going to get laser hair removal. Yeah. So what I did was I just did a lot of research. So when I came to YouTube, which is the reason why I'm making this video, because I felt like there were videos about laser hair removal for African-American women, but there weren't nearly as many as it was for like other people. So I'm just like, like... I'm not really getting what I need from YouTube. Let me go to Google and let me find as much research as I can about it to kind of see, you know, what would be best for me. So with that, I like read, you know, there were different kind of lasers. At one point when they first came out with laser hair removal, black people were not good candidates for the for it because of the type of laser they were using. Um, so now they have this other laser. And I think when I do like when I did my research, it was a laser, it was YAG, um, I don't know if it's YAG or what it's called, but that was the one that was like best for um, African-Americans and the wavelength could like really get under your skin and get that hair follicle, you know, basically burnt out. Cause that's what laser hair removal is like literally your laser, like burning you, honestly. Um, so with that, I was like, okay, 
I literally live like right behind ideal image. I said, you know, uh, let me go up there and see what they're talking about. So I go and you go in, you make an appointment for a consultation to see kind of like what the price range would be. Like if what the area, you know, what if they think that they would be able to, you know, help you with your situation. Um, so I went to have my consultation with this lady. She was super nice, super friendly. Um, she kind of like, you know, got to know me which is good, I guess. So she got kind of understand why I felt like I wanted it and you know how serious I was about it. She showed me the price breakdown um, and either I could pay it all up front or I could split it up in between payments. Um, and I and I ended up, I think I did it the payment way because you know, one, I just got out of college. Going into grad school, we ain't got it like that. But um, honestly, the payment like plan that they had, it was really like, I paid like $75 a month for it. Um, and it was, it was not that hard to keep up with. I literally, and if you paid it off before the year, you didn't have to pay interest. So it was like, and I think they use Synchrony, um, which is like a lending company. Um, so yeah, it was super easy to do the payment process. Yeah. So honestly, like the payment plan, everything in that realm was pretty easy. I think, honestly, I wish that I would still remember how much I ended up paying for it. I wanna say it was around like $1,300 um, for my laser hair removal. Um, yeah, I wanna say it was around that amount. But honestly, it the price varies and if they're having like some kind of promotion, it might be cheaper. Um, and if you do multiple areas, it can become cheaper because I think it was like you did one and then you had like 70% off the other two options. So they had like, you know, you could do the package. So whatever focus area you want to focus on, um, you could include that in a package. So that was great. Um, and it definitely is a little painful, but I think after like probably like the fourth time, you kind of get used to it. But then around that time, then they start trying to add on going the second time so you when you get closer to the end they start doing like double passes so it literally feels like I don't even know like little pinches of like some okay so just think of like stabbing yourself in the hand with your nail but adding like a kind of like a fiery kind of warm feeling so like stab yourself in your, in your hand um, and then add and just think about something being really warm and kind of shocking you a little bit. Like that's basically what it feels like. Just a whole bunch of that. Um, and they're pretty fast. Um, to your first round, you're gonna be like, okay, I just paid for this and ain't nothing happening. <laughs> Cause I was like, mm. came back the next time, nothing had really changed. Your hair falls off after the first time it falls off and it probably comes back like in a couple days. The second time you go, eventually it falls off. And also I do have to advise, you can't get waxed or anything during this time, you can only shave. And you're supposed to go with no hair on because they wanna get to like the actual follicle and burn that thing off. <laughs> so you can't like wax cause you need to have a little bit of something first went I did like they were like we can go ahead and start now so I was like oh well I did not prepare for this I actually have like hair <laughs> in those areas so um they actually like shaved you for you like they took this little thing blaze blade thing like they open up fresh ones every time and like basically get the hair off for you which was weird but cool it, it happened and then it was fine um and then they start doing the laser and the hair falls off um the little bit of hair that's still left after the razor. Like, you know, the razor's not gonna get everything, but like the follicles and stuff, they fall off. That's what I meant to say earlier. I hope you didn't think that. I literally said you cut the hair off. So anyways, so with that, um, after you go through the first round, it's not that bad, but they also give you um, stress balls to hold. And I love to hold my stress balls. Like, give me those stress balls and give me my goggles and I'm gonna be fine. Just don't be trying to, I mean, they like to talk to you while you're doing it, kind of distract you, but honestly, I don't feel feeling like talking, just get it over with, you know, like squeezing those stress balls and just letting go. So, and you can't record, cause I actually thought about recording my process because I noticed the lack of information that I had 
going into the process that I was like, I want to be able to provide this information to somebody else, but they don't let you record um, because of like legal reasons, I guess. Um, no one can come back there with you. You have to go by yourself. Um, yeah, so it's just you and the laser hair removal lady. Um, time you go, they ask you about your hair loss experience to kind of see kind of like where you are, if they need to turn the voltage up or what they need to do. Um, and any ingrowns, no hyperpigmentation. Actually, I think my skin like actually lightened up um, with that process. Um, yeah, honestly, it was like the best experience. Now, one thing that I can say about laser hair removal is that it's not permanent. And I think that's what they sell it for. And they make you think that, okay, after you go through your nine rounds of this laser hair removal process, you're going to be a naked mole rat. <sighs> that's not the case. They definitely sell you a dream as if this is like something. But honestly, I think that's just another lack of knowledge and a lack of things that they don't tell you like at your consultation. It's like, after I finish, I mean, my hair still to this day doesn't grow back how it did before it's definitely way softer sometimes the hair can be blonde under there so it's not like anything ever harsh it's always light after the process but if you don't keep it up it's the hair is gonna grow back yeah it's honestly the best option i would say it's the most expensive option and it's definitely probably the most painful I think it's pretty, mm, waxing is pretty painful, but I mm, I would still say laser hair removal is more painful than waxing. Just because it's like a whole bunch of little shocks of pain versus one big rip. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they don't equate. I definitely feel like it's a good option if you have the money to experience it um definitely think it's a good option now long term i don't know i guess it all depends on what you want for yourself like i definitely probably will go back and get another treatment i do waxing again but that's just because i prefer that to any other form of hair removal um at this time in my life even though waxing is kind of expensive in itself as well um, but one thing about waxing, waxing is that I love the way that my skin feels. I love the, like, the hair growth. If you go consistently, it's barely any hair ever that grows. And I don't know if that's because I did the laser hair removal and then started doing waxing heavily or what. But regardless, like, I think that it worked better for my skin. Waxing doesn't really affect my skin right now because I feel like I went through the laser hair removal process. Who knows what it would have been like if I would have just did waxing instead of the laser hair removal. But like I said, everybody's skin is different. And honestly, you got to find what works with you. If you guys have any other questions or concerns or comments or suggestions, I definitely am open to them. Um, definitely comment them below. Definitely talk about your experience if you've experienced laser hair removal, um, if it worked for you, if you prefer whatever method you prefer. Um, and definitely throughout all of it, exfoliate, 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 exfoliate. Like if I would have known what I knew back then, what I know now, skin would be flawless. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and my experience about my laser hair removal process and you know, what worked best for me. Until next time, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a great, great year of 2022. Don't let anything stop you, and try something new. Like, comment below what you are going to try this year. If, if it's traveling, if it's laser hair removal, if it's a new book, let me know. And if you have any book suggestions, definitely drop that below, too, because I've been looking for some really good books, and I can't wait to uh, see what you guys have to say.